Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today we're gonna have a little fun with rice paper. Now, I know I've done rice paper sales before, but this time around, I'm gonna show you how I dye them. Rice paper, if you don't know what it is, is relatively cheap. Usually I eat it with savory foods, but it is actually super perfect for that modern type of looking cake. The trick to being able to work with rice paper is just to make sure that you soak it. And if you soak it for a sufficient amount of time, it really doesn't take that long at all, then you're able to bend it and mold it however you see fit. I've even seen people make roses out of this, but we're just going to take it really, really easy and make whatever shapes that we would like. Now it's time to get dyeing. Now the easiest way to do this, I find, is just to put the dye directly in the water. This is a super, super easy technique, but I will say that it's less controlled in terms of how much color you're actually going to pick up and the exact shade that you're going to create. So if you want something that's a little bit more exact, I suggest you airbrush the already dried rice paper instead, so you wouldn't airbrush it at this point. I should also mention that the rice paper, when it is wet, is very, very sticky. So you do want to use a non-stick mat for all of your sales here or whatever other rice paper work that you're doing. The rice paper can also tear very, very easily, so you just want to make sure that you're really careful with it. Once you're happy with all of your rice paper work, then you just want to go ahead and take either a cloth or a piece of paper towel just to dab off the excess water. That goes into the oven at 175 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. I only have a few display cakes, so I constantly reuse them over and over as much as I can until the styrofoam literally gives out. So yes, that is all dried fondant that I actually had to hammer off. Now you'll notice that these styrofoam boxes kind of look like they've had it, and there's a lot of gaps in there, so when we cover this with fondant, it's not going to be perfect perfect, but I really just wanted to utilize this so I can show you what these sales will look like on a cake. These sails give me ocean vibes, so I'm kind of going with a marbled blue and white ocean look. Now, whenever you're making marbled fondant, of course, you want to avoid so much kneading because the more you knead, obviously, the more you're going to lose that marbling effect. Covering a squared off cake, especially one that has random holes in it, is very, very challenging because you really need to get those panels nice and sharp. And I am using a paneling technique this time around instead of just covering it all on top like I normally do, like with a rounded cake. The reason that I do this is to try and maintain those sharp edges as much as possible. But you know, there's so many gaps in this styrofoam, so it's not going to be perfect, perfect. I highly recommend if you're just starting out with cakes, make sure to go with a rounded cake first and then go off onto squared cakes later on. After everything is covered and to adhere that fun, by the way, to the styrofoam, I just use a little bit of water, steam my cake, and now all of my rice paper sails are ready. Those were in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. They're perfectly dried. They have a little bit of flexibility, very, very slight, but the ones that I didn't gather so much, they are perfectly, perfectly dry, and that's the way you want it because if you are going to have some of your rice paper sails sticking out on the top of your cake, then you wanna make sure that they're rather stiff so it stays nice and straight up and down. These rice paper sails also stick even better into buttercream because you can just kind of stick them directly on there. And of course, it's me, so I'm adding on some gold leaf, and this stuff actually isn't edible. Since this is just a display cake, I am using a super cheap, inedible version. And there we have it, our rice paper sails. And you can do so much with this. It really gives cakes a really modern vibe with an ethereal look. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!